Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. <sighs> yeah, let's hope. It's weird. I just... Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old Spirit of Vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yeah, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. No one ever said our tasks would be easy, especially now. I get it. It would just be nice if the price of failure wasn't, you know, the end of the world. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. I do not know what Blaze read. I am not a mind reader, nor are you. Which is why I am asking you to trust me. Forget what Blaze said. Forget what could be on that parchment. I can't just forget it, Hunter. What am I supposed to do? Uh, bake a loaf of sourdough and try not to think about having the directions for the end of the world riding around in me? Oh, d do you bake? Uh, nothing more complicated than instant brownies. That is too bad. I would love a warm loaf of bread right now. To break bread together would be more meaningful than the words of a hundred parchments. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Sark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around here. You're an only child, aren't you? Yes. I guess you'd have to be. Caretaker used to tell us about Lilith's child, not Lilith's firstborn. Mm -hmm. 
It would be a better world if Lilith had no children. Hey, don't say that. I mean that she chose corruption to save my life. Without me, none of what is happening would be happening. Oh wow, that's uh, rough to carry with you. For what it's worth, I'm glad to have you around. Thanks, Robbie. It always strikes me how our families define so much about us. I wouldn't be who I am without my little brother. If my parents gone, I had to grow up fast, pay the bills, keep my grades up, and provide for Gabe, no matter what. Having a spirit of vengeance inside you cannot have made it any easier. Yeah, um, it has complicated my life, but I make sure it won't complicate his. It's not easy to find that balance, but you have to do it. Without family, you lose a part of yourself. We set a new bar. Nice catch. Is it dinner? You're like a extra extended family. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the Dark I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. You want the magic highlights, Tony? Highlight. Got more coil for me? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Always a pleasure. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there, Hunter. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm going to turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Aw, oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Oh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. 
and I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchment isn't going to blow itself up. Till next time. Just like you wanted. Stay out of trouble. Let's do this. Careful, Hunter. Punches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Surely you understand this is how Stark is with everyone else, do you not? I understand it, intellectually. Yet the outrage still burns in my heart. Fair. Just do us all a favor and try not to break his jaw, all right? We need him in one piece. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the parchment of power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll show him. I am impressed with your understanding of the Arcane. I have worked hard for many years to get where I am. 
I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome your company. Hydra has a remote server attached to one of their squads in this area, and they've been using it to store communications data captured on the nearby consoles. I believe Stark and Carol have done most of the legwork, but you still need to access those consoles to retrieve the data. Let's make it quick then. You're not going to I'd consider another profession if I were you. Here's one for you. Whatever gets the job done. Don't mess with a witch. Forever in service! I am under attack. <laughs> I've survived worse. Where do they keep finding these guys? Children will join us soon! <sighs> Temporary. 
Enjoy your rest! I am ready. Gonna be enough. Hold this up. Let's see if you can keep up. Remember that one. Stop me that easily. You can't just scare me off, you know. Greater numbers will not save you. You don't see me running. data. Excellent work out there. Ride is ready and waiting. Tension's so thick I could claw it to shreds. Something more so. I don't think Caretaker wants me in the library. Are you certain? Oh yeah. She did that thing where she squinted at me, then cleared her throat about five times. I am very familiar with that. The library used to be my second home in the Abbey. I think it'll be good for me to be in there. But I don't want to push Sarah any further. Agatha spent most of her library. Is that what is really going on? It always comes back to Agatha. You cannot change what happened. I know. But you cannot let it keep you from moving on. You know it's so messed up? When Lilith... When she took me... I forgot Agatha existed. Now I'm myself again, and it's all flooding back. I find myself wanting to go back... 
Not to Lilith, but to forgetting. Ah, uh, you're right. If I'm part of the team again, I have to face this. Thanks, Hunter. Such an amazing time. Good girl, Charlie. Agatha, what are you doing? Casting a protection spell over the Abbey. Now that we are in possession of the Parchment of Power, we must be vigilant in guarding against its influences. What can I do to help? You can't. This is a very rare form of sorcery. Practiced only by those who have passed from this realm. But you can watch over the others. This spell will only prevent the worst type of harm the parchment can inflict, but can't stop it from making mischief completely. Mischief? What sort of mischief? There's no way of knowing for sure. But if there's one thing I am sure of, it's this. The words etched onto the page were written by Cathan himself. Not even my magic can silence them. They will affect us, if only in whispers. I mean, they're probably affecting us right here, right now, and won't stop. Not until Stark finally manages to nuke it from space. I was more concerned how it could harm Robbie. Not the rest of us. I'm concerned for him too. But while the page remains here in the Abbey, it affects us all. <sighs> well... I should really finish this incantation. The spell cannot be completed without it. I will leave you to it then. Sleep well, Hunter. If you can. Beginning to understand now. Family protects one another. Family loves one another. Family would do anything to save one another. Is that not what these heroes of yours preach? Then why abandon you at the doorstep of that wretched pretender Mephisto, my precious child? My family saved me. It was the coward Blaze that sold me out. Perhaps. Still, Blaze is no coward. And he is most certainly not a friend to Mephisto. For him to have made such a deal, all the more reason I must have the page. I knew you were going to go there. Hear me, child. Say what you will about Johnny Blaze. But his soul is one of the strongest I have ever encountered. He has carried the parchment for decades without succumbing to its call, battled angels and demons alike and rattled many gods. It almost seems like you admire him. I simply state the facts. Now he is free of the page, and another takes on a mantle of its guardian. Robbie. Do you really think he will prevail over the parchment of power? 
You were right, Mother. I am? Robbie will never be Johnny Blaze. He will become something far greater. I gladly place my fate and that of the world in his hands. My original offer still stands. If you truly value your friend, relieve him of his burden and surrender the parchment to me. Ignore my warning, and Blaze's betrayal will be a fond memory compared to what is coming next. Hey, you, can we talk?